giant and sexy to the ladies, not to me. But it's Mr. J- Jason Momo. We were just discussing how you are truly the real Big J. And I'm not going to fight that. A lot of times people will be like, oh, I'm the real Big J, and I try to battle it. But with you, I'm not I'm not even going to say it. You can have it. You could even have the show if you wanted. I mean, anything you want from me, Jason Momoa, you got it, my man. Thanks, Big J. Any, anytime. Anytime. Well, we, dude, you are on fire. You all of a sudden here. What was the big thing? Like, do you know what sparked it here recently in the past, like, three, four years that you've been in, like, just one thing after another? Everywhere you look, you're starring in something. Well, um, I think about this is three years ago, I was, while I was doing Game of Thrones, I wrote uh, this piece with my, my other two friends and uh, wanted to make this beautiful road movie uh, about these, you know, these injustices happening on the reservation. So we chose to make this movie. I did say no to a lot of things for a very long time to make this because it took three years. And, uh, you know, once I was done, you know, all these little, the little projects kept accumulating. And by doing Road to Paloma, um, I got the TV show that I'm on on Sunday. And so that was really cool. And so, and then now, you know, it's just, um, I mean, it's, you know, it's coming out Tuesday. So I'm hopefully people really like it. And, and, uh, Hopefully um, it gets other movies and direct other things. That's awesome. I mean, what a cool idea, too. Plus, uh, I don't know. I mean, you, I was just about to say, I don't know if you know this, but Billings here where we're at, we're very close to uh, the Crow Reservation, and we have a lot of, uh, we have a huge Native American population out here. So, I mean, this movie will probably appeal to the uh, Native American population because in the movie, like you said, you play kind of a badass Native American, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I do. And we actually represent the Ahamakov and the Mojaves, which is uh, on the, kind of the tri-state area where it's on the Needles, California. That's awesome. On that Arizona, um, uh, uh, Arizona, Nevada, California border. Very nice. So on yeah. Tuesday, the movie comes out DVD, Blu-ray, but currently people can already watch it online on like iTunes and yeah, uh, yeah, digital. absolutely. Obviously, it's a, you know it's a very independent movie, and we get it. We're really, I just we did the premiere in New York last night. And then I'm flying to uh, L.A. tomorrow, and we'll be doing it on Friday. So it's really, you know, just in those select theaters. But I'm excited because, you know, you can watch it right now, and the soundtrack's great, and that's out on iTunes, too. So That's awesome. How, I mean, how cool is, obviously, every project. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, I enjoy performing, too, and acting on a it's small scale, obviously. But those projects are so fun just to be a part of. It's got to be so cool when you take it to that next level, and it's your own project, where it's not just like, oh, it's Road to Paloma starring me. It's Road to Paloma. That's my movie that I put my blood, sweat, and tears into. I mean, that's got to feel so rewarding to have it done and having people see it. I mean, it's 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 a dream come true. It's an honor. I mean, I, last night I stood up in front of a bunch of fans and, and just was like, oh, it's off my shoulders here, finally done. And it's um, a painting. It's, it's, it's three hard years of all my friends and family giving everything they have make this to get it out to the world. I mean, it's once you're done making a movie, it's truly a miracle that even movies get made and that the world gets to see them because it's just, it's a constant battle. That's I mean, awesome. I give respect to every movie that you, that you get. I mean, once you go through it, you're like, wow. Did you just start, oh, okay. That, that we get to see. Oh, I was going to ask if you just started riding your motorcycle through a wind tunnel, but now it kind of cleared up. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's definitely going through a wind tunnel, so that was me or you, but I think it's definitely me. Okay, good. I was gonna How's say. it going right now? Does it sound pretty bad? It sounds like you're like you're slowed down on the motorcycle at least. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're keeping the speed down. So yeah, ro- I'm not sure what's going on. Ro- road to Paloma, we all need to check out for sure. What else is uh, upcoming in the future? Any other projects you're working on that you're excited about that you're allowed to talk to? I know, obviously, the internet is a buzz with rumors about you, but it what? It sure is. But we'll probably have to wait till 2016 to see if Batman is Superman. I have no idea. Exactly. I do have Red Road coming out, and that's great. It's the second season of that. Um, and I've been directing um, uh, Carhartt commercials, so I'm actually got a, a, one of my favorite uh, companies on earth, Carhartt. Uh, I'm going to do their like, 125th anniversary of their uh, their duck pants, and so I'm really excited about that. Very cool, man. And what a cool. I mean, it sounds like that life is good for you. And what are we going to see? Uh, we've got. I mean, obviously, you've got more freedom now. You've just done your own project. Uh, would you? What's the dream role for you now? I mean, you've played so many different types of roles. Is there one now that you kind of have some control here, where you're thinking? I'd really love to do a comedy. I'd really love to do a, a biopic. Like, what's the big project? I mean, I would absolutely love to do a comedy. I mean, it was, uh, that, that would be completely awesome. But I actually wrote our next one that we're going to be doing. It's based in the 1890s. And Jack London did a story on it, but it's uh, it's based in Hawaii. And it's definitely like a brave heart for my people in, uh, in Hawaii. So I'm excited about that. And uh, you'll probably see in the next five years. I'm going to wait till my name gets a little bigger. And uh, it's a bit of a drama epic 
we need a little bit more money than the you know the six hundred we made for this. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it'll take a little bit of time, but screw stuff. Well, we'll we'll kick in some cash from our end here, my man. We're gonna check out Road to Paloma, directed, produced, co-written, and starring our man Jason Momoa. We're also gonna look for uh, you know all the other projects, the Red Road, uh, the Red Road. I'm sorry, on TV. We'll check out season two coming up. We'll check out all the other projects, and uh, hopefully. We'll check out, uh, you know, the uh, the big movie, Batman and Superman, if you're in it. We'll wait till 2016. But Jason Momoa, the connection sucks, but you, my friend, have been awesome. So thanks so much for joining us, and uh, best of luck with everything. <laughs> have a have a great morning, Jason. <laughs> Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.